Thanks, humans. I'm excited to be here. I'm not going to wag my tail for technical reasons, but I'm excited to be here. You smell like you're going to be a wonderful audience. So, uh, I know what you're thinking. I look like if Lassie was crossed with Cujo. I know what you're thinking. I look like if Snoopy ate Toto. I know what you're thinking. I look like if Lady got fucked by the tramp. <laughs> <laughs> Although that does happen at the end of that film, so uh, for example. Uh, I'm a dog. I'm the UK's only working dog stand-up. I think there's a dog doing it in America. He's more of an insult comic. It's a bit different. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Uh, I wasn't supposed to be a stand-up comedian. I was supposed to be a guide dog. <laughs> They gave me the uniform and everything. <laughs> and then there was a, a so-called morning incident. That kid touched my ball, okay? It was his fault. Um, so yeah, so now, uh, and you know, it's, it's sad because my family, family for five generations have been guide dogs. Since the 90s, they've been guide dogs. Um, so, uh, but now I've turned to stand-up for comedy. Um, so my previous owner, he taught me a few tricks. He taught me sit, fetch, beg, roll over, and basic observational comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, part of the reason I'm doing this is I'm looking for a new owner. So I am now uh, adoptable. I just talk to the host, if you want to adopt me, you can take me home after the show. <laughs> if you want, I'm fully vaccinated. <laughs> So I've written some jokes that I hope are going to amuse you humans. What's the deal with airline food? <laughs> Seriously, because I'm not allowed in the cabin. <laughs> I've never tried it. Um, my dad was German. A German shepherd. Um, <laughs> my mum was French. A French bulldog. <laughs> so that means that I like to roll around in shit, but I don't have to take a bath. <laughs> And that's some uh, national stereotype uh, human view. That's a human thing. I don't really understand that stuff. I don't see race. Uh, I just smell race. Um, you know, we all have that one crazy friend in the dog park. You know, the crazy friend who believes all stupid conspiracy theories. I've got a friend in the dog park who thinks that they put in chips in us to track us. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> the same guy told me that the world is just one big ball. <laughs> well, who's going to fetch that? It's nonsense. <laughs> um, so, uh, another reason I'd like to stand up was to find a mate. Has anyone got dogs at home? Anyone got dogs? Uh, how old's your dog, madam? One. One, okay. And uh, is that a boy or a girl dog? A girl. Lovely. What breed? A boxer. And what does her anus smell like? <laughs> Flowers. <laughs> Flowers. Oh. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound very sexy. Uh, how about you, sir? You got, so you got a dog? You got a dog, sir? Yep. How old? Three. Three. Uh, bit young, because, you know, I like younger bitches. <laughs> My dog remember, it's fine. Um, <laughs> but you know, three's a bit creepy, that's a bit young. I wouldn't, I'm eight years old, I came to stand quite late in life. I think the rule is, you know, it should be half your age plus one. I wouldn't date anyone under five years old, so I think that's the limit for me. Uh, I'm a dog. Okay, so I think that's been about five minutes. <laughs> in dog years, that was half an hour for me. So, uh, I'll leave you with that. Thanks very much. Woo!